हेलो वेलकम एवरीबॉडी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू पुट डाउन माय लेक्चर नंबर फोर रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर स्टैंडिंग अप फॉर योर सेल्फ सो हियर द चैप्टर दैट इज स्टैंडिंग अप फॉर योर सेल्फ सो लेक्चर नंबर फोर सो द राइटर वाज रिलीज फ्रॉम द हॉस्पिटल His head was still bandaged. He came to the street. So here, the writer was released from the hospital. So after he was just uh, uh, <clears throat> the struggles from life, because he was being hurt by the red, very severely injured he was. So I think it was just uh, taking so much time, so more days, just to be completely cured from the illness or the injury. और बिंग हट बाय दि रेड अनेक समय लगे बिकज से हस्पिटाल रिलीज होने दिन समय भी लगे कहीं से जो रेड तक जो आघात कर भुजाइली अनेक समय लगे रईटर हिज हेड व्वाज स्टिल बैंडेज आई थिंक स्टिल बैंडेज मीनस इट व्वाज दि रईटर व्वाज नट कम्प्लीटली क्लीयर फ्रम दैट दि हट और दि स्ट्रक् बै दि रेड तेणु कम्प्लीटली क्योरेबल से नीले एंड ही केम टू दि स्ट्रीट दे जस्ट हि अरइव अन् दि स्ट्रीट दि अरइवाल अफ दि रईटर अन् दि स्ट्रीट एंड देन यू मेट एंड हिज लिउटेनाट सो आई थिंक दे आर दन दि स्ट्रीट दे रईटर मेट अपन दि रेड एंड हिट इज अल्सो हिज गैंगस दल एवं भेटिले रोड रास्त अल हिज क्वरेज मेल्टेड अल हिज क्वरेज मेल्टेड मीनस अल हिज डेरींगस just all his courageousness all his power packed just like snow melting then with a barf torali jay so because as when the say, the sunlight also falls upon the snow and the snow starts melting and just coming backwards or it retreats it is called the defeated army defeated army means when the the sunlight falls upon the uh, just the snow the snow starts melting मेल्टिंग पर बरफ गुड़ी आस्ते 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 पछ फेरी आसो रिट्रीट्स दैट इज गोज जस्ट बैकवर्ड्स आपको हम कहते इट इज जस्ट कंपेयर्ड विथ दि डिफिटेड आर्मी ये बरफटा तुलना कर गोटे डिफिटेड आर्मी सागर कहीं सूर्यकिरण बरफ उपर पड़े बरफ तर पछ पछ पड़े आसे सो दि हि दि स्नो आज बीन कंपेयर्ड विथ दि अल्सो दि डिफिटेड आर्मी अच्छा जहाँ भी सो अल इज करेज मेल्टेड अल इज पावर्स disappeared as soon as just very instantly he saw the red and his gangs so very soon evaporation he got that courage that daring car of right on car so all the plans to take revenge fell so the right one had just take, taken the writer had just uh, waiting by pre minded just to <clears throat> take different types of plans to take revenge against the red i think all his plans all his also i think the criterions he had arranged to attack the the, the red i think that was also quite vanquished from his heart sabu kichi milai gala all the plans all the sigilings so all the also settlements gun evaporating into the sky into the air sabu kichi milai gala tangar plan red tang ganga gere <clears throat> he tried to check his nervousness but it was in vain but he tried to check his nervousness se nervousness hai gali but because in vain because he returned home that is hopelessly but that is purposelessly and also aimlessly because all his plans getting evaporation into the air or sky or all the plans disappear just by the sudden looking at the just the rain and his gangs tangaro sabu kichi milai gala man he tried to just take his nervous it means the nervousness comes very fast very instantaneously that is very instantaneously nervousness comes fast because he could not read that because he knew not about his just nervousness just to really stand up to him very fast so ajib nervousness just striking him very fast and he became discouraged and also he became fearfulness of the red and his gangs and he took to his heels and he returned home at the during time i think without any aim that is called aimless life the aimless plan and without having the confidence 
and also getting the nervousness in his heart that is butterflies in heart getting nervousness then he return back home that is aimlessly that is purposelessly he return back home and at last he rolled on the bed and he struck on the bed and also biting his pillow biting his pillow means just is just his tokyo kamudi bal lagile and also pounding it in same pounding means just is striking the pillow <clears throat> very shamefully and that is called beating the pillows that is the token of anger that is called token of the same full and the token of the also the hatredness the token of the cowardice the token of the chicken heartedness and that is the token of the also the faint hearted so that is very weakness due to all this he also started biting the pillow and striking on the also bed ishu bhavare se badele to keura kere his cowardice hurt him and just an important for his just the body spirit his cowardice hurt him so the writer's cowardice the writer he has proven that is due to my cowardice just i have been dragon backwards so all the plans just going in vain so sab plan mere wala ki chela ni because only because of due to my the cowardice due to my the weakness the incompetence that is called the impotentialities that is no potentialities so all the, the drawbacks of these qualities so taking the writer into the back foot so the writer tried to overcome his fear of red so anyhow he managed so day by day consequently then he had to just uh, getting clearance of his fearfulness to act the red and uh, he joined the in physical training school to learn parallel bars and wait to flex his muscle so i think he took very vigorous physical training just to be uh, to be ready to fight against the red and his gangs so that he took different types of different modes of physical training just uh, uh, that is called parallel bars weights and flex because some bhar utolan kale bibhinna prakara weight lifting and also jin man jim ha so bibhinna prakara se physical training nele ni jugu ready kare ku ebong to face the challenge of the red and his gangs he started the vigorous preparation to make himself physically just to uh, make himself physically and mentally strong because the here one person has to be mentally and physically strong so then he has to be make the preparation just quite vigorously vigorously means quite robustly that is quite robustly very strongly very powerfully and also that is very strenuously bahut mane tum powerful strenuously robustly bahut mane tum mane preparation kariya padibo physical training na padibo hmm just that is making physically and mentally strong in order to challenge the red and his gang because the writer just uh, took the uh, this type of strenuous vigorous very powerful training because in order to face the red and his gangs at any time at any cost so mentally and also that is called uh, the um, that is called physically both that we have to upkeep the face the challenge so day and night just he concentrated on the rigorous training rigorous means very rigid and that is called stringent tra- training rigid and stringent means he took very hardship very painful but striving to that also occasion and he wanted to be powerful enough to face the challenge of the red and his gangs so he even learned the jitsu that is that is he even learned the jiu jitsu japanese method of wrestling to help the weak against the strong so he wanted just to want to just uh, to receive the physical training that is the best japanese uh, uh, the wrestling physical training japan or gote mollo jodha training se kousan nale that is that is called the jiu jitsu japan or mollo jodha training that is the best tra- physical training that is wrestling for uh, the fight against the strong nani strong birudhe fight kariya pai that is the best art of physical training that is the wrestling of japanese wrestling training put an lse kahi ki that the one person was also being capable of defeating the stronger at any time because any weak person can defeat any stronger person because very easily and very smoothly also acha so after few days he felt confident himself and he is capable of defeating red and it. so after the, the, the days gone by the days also passing by with the passage of the time so then he also stood ready for the fighting at the red and he is also lieutenant because 
he just prepared himself mentally and physically just upkeep and also uh, in a balanced manner to face the challenges of the day so anyhow so now he is capable of the facing because the confidence they that is the liabilities and also the, the daringness the courageousness and the potentialities has come and with the touch of the heart then he could face the challenge of the raid and its gangs at any time at any cost under any circumstances also so i think up to that next time just i'll have next so till then goodbye and happy day to all